everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really glad that you did because today I'm going to be showing you how to paint mirrors. It's a really fun activity for children and the young at heart. There's two designs to choose from. A dinosaur or a fairy. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So the first step is to transfer this image onto our mirror. And you can find this image in the PDF lesson plan attached to this video. And you can find that at our webpage at montmart.net. Just go to Montmart TV and you'll find it there. Now, as for transferring the image, some little people find it a little bit tricky sometimes, but I have an absolutely fabulous method. And all you need is a Montmartre pastel pencil and a light box. Oh, you don't have a light box? Well, I bet you do. Oh, wow, look at the Montmartre studio. It even has a sink. This window is a light box, a great big light box. So tape your image face side down onto the glass and then trace the outline. Try to trace the lines as exactly as you can, but feel free to modify the shape if you like. As I said, this is loosely based on a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but you might like to put some spikes on his tail or give him a sail like Spinosaurus. Just make sure you use a pastel pencil and keep a sharp tip on it. Once the outline is drawn on, Lay the tracing face down onto the mirror. Stick it down with a couple of bits of tape and then scrub the front of the image with the pencil. Take off the paper and you will have a perfectly imaged dinosaur ready for painting. So I'm using a round plastic palette to hold my Montmartre glass paint. I'm also using a pack of Gallery Series brushes. This is a small pack containing four brushes. I open up my box of paints and lay out some crimson, some orange, some veridan, some light green, and also some black. I then take the small flat and lay in some veridan into the body of the dinosaur. I'm doing mine green, but no one really knows the color of real dinosaurs. So you could paint your T-Rex red if you like, I then paint in my dinosaur's tummy and I do this in light green. I then add some orange onto the spikes on his back. After I paint this, I do his tongue in crimson red. I use the fine round from the set from this job. Once I'm happy with the colors, I can paint in the black key line onto my T-Rex. I use the finest brush in the set to lay in this key line. Make sure you get every little detail, and if you go into a colour, quickly wipe it off with a damp cloth. At this stage, you can personalise your mirror with a name if you like. That was awesome! Let's paint the fairy now. So use the same steps and transfer the image onto the mirror. We'll paint the skin first. To mix this colour, Add one part crimson to two parts orange and paint it onto the appropriate area. Then I take pure crimson and paint it into her dress and crown. I then paint yellow into her hair and some veridan into her shoes, the mid part of her dress and her crown. I then lay a black key line all around my fairy. Again use the finest brush for this and always work from the top down. You might like to add more detail into the wings if you like. I paint her eyes in that beautiful ultramarine blue and then I personalise it by painting a name into the banner. <laughs> well, don't they look great? And what a fun product Montmartre glass paint is. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed that. And if you do like crafty things, then come over to montmart.net 
where we have lots more fun lessons for you to enjoy. And while you're there, have a look at our family feed. And if you subscribe to that, you can get free hints and tips and a fun family project sent to you each week. We've also got our Facebook there as well. And if you join that, then we can talk to each other and you can keep up to date with what's new. So keep your eyes skinned because my next lesson is gonna be a lot of fun too. So until next time, keep on creating art. See you next time.